I was 22 at the time and hadn't been out of university that long and I started getting symptoms of um, fatigue and I was always really hot and sweaty. As time went on I struggled more with blurred vision and dizzy spells. The fatigue was so bad that if I wanted to have a, a chat with somebody and have a cup of tea, then the rest of the day I'd, I'd just feel completely wiped out. You know, the kind of fatigue you have like when you have the flu. At one point they sent a physiotherapist to my house because I wasn't able to stand for very long and, and I was really uneasy on my feet. I, I didn't have very good balance and I was given a diagnosis of um, mental health illness. I was given a lot of anti-anxiety and antidepressants. Symptoms of anxiety are very similar to symptoms of polyembolism, and you can imagine the two get very mixed up and combined, and that makes it difficult to feel confident of your body that it's going to tell you when something's wrong. The day when I was taken into hospital, I was seeing people or shapes, and I thought, oh, I'm hallucinating. So I called for help, and then I must have had this collapse because I came to and there were two paramedics standing in my bedroom and I remember saying this isn't a dream because <laughs> it felt like like a nightmare in hospital they ran a lot of tests and I didn't know until a couple of years later that they they asked to phone my friends and family to say that they, they might need to come and say goodbye. I hadn't realised um, that it was that serious at that point. I was diagnosed with multiple pulmonary embolism. It did bring a lot of relief to have a diagnosis, to feel like we were getting somewhere and that I'd get better. Um, I thought that I'd take the medication and that would make me better and I had no real understanding of the, the journey I had ahead of me at the time. Pulmonary emboli can be difficult to diagnose because patients don't present in what the doctor has always thought was a classical way with chest pain uh, and sudden onset of shortness of breath. And this is particularly true, I think, with those who gradually get more short of breath over a long period of time. And when you're short of breath and when you're short of oxygen in your lungs, you can feel quite anxious because you're hypoxic, you're short of oxygen and it gives you those feelings of panic. So occasionally we see people who come through the psychiatrist who are very panicky and anxious. And actually they have pulmonary emboli as the cause of their anxiety. <laughs>